Hi guys, so welcome to another pickups video. Um, this is probably going to be my last pickups video of the year. Um, since we're going into Christmas now, most of my money is going to be tied up buying gifts for friends and family. Um, but I've managed to pick up some real quality titles, guys. Um, I really went all out in these last few weeks. Um, just trying to fill in the gaps of some of the games that I really, really wanted to get. Um, I've, there's all sort of like a mixture. So some have been uh, eBay purchases naturally. Um, some were bought out and about and others on Amazon. First game I picked up, this was an eBay purchase. Uh, it's one game for the DS and it's actually one that I've wanted for a while. And that is Final Fantasy 3. Um, this is like a remastered game. Uh, I believe it's uh, uh, a DS exclusive. Um, it's a really fun turn-based RPG. I've been trying to get into RPGs a bit more. Uh, and this was one for the DS that I definitely wanted to have. And I got it for about 7 quid, uh, brand new and sealed. Uh, next set of games. Now these were all uh, bought while I was out and about. First couple of games here are PlayStation 1 games. And um, these were games that I picked up at Cash Converters. Just went in there one day, just have a look around, see what they had. And uh, normally, I mean, they don't really have much in the way of PlayStation 1 games. It's just like a small uh, a small little amount, uh, just games that I'm not interested in. But uh, they happen to have these two really great games. Uh, so I was really, really happy to see them there. First one up is Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. And this is actually the one that I've been looking for a while. This is the one with the holographic lenticular cover. Uh, it's fully complete. Um, the disc has a few scratches on it, but I have tested it out and it does work well. So I was really, really happy to get this uh, and it cost me uh, 99p. Also for 99p, uh, I was so chuffed to find this game because um, it actually goes for quite a bit on eBay. And a black label copy of this game uh, is quite uncommon as well. Uh, that game is uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. Um, yeah, really happy to find this. Uh, it is complete. Uh, again, it's the disc has got quite a few scratches, but I have tested it out and it does play perfectly. So, really happy with those two games. Next set of games, uh, these were all uh, CEX purchases. I went into CEX a couple of times. This is my same sort of local CEX where I normally buy all my games from. First one I picked up, and this one has been on the shelves for a while. I ha actually had looked at this game in the past, but just decided to pass pass it up. Um, but this time I just thought, you know what, I, I, I do want it. Uh, the game is uh, Die Hard Vendetta, and it went for pound fifty. I believe this is a first-person shooter. Um, you know... If it's based on Die Hard, you know, I love that I love that movie series, so I'm willing to give this game a go. Uh next one up, uh this is this is one of those games that I just bought more out of curiosity than anything. Um and that is uh GI Jockey 3. Uh as you can see I got it for 75p. And uh, what this game is, it's a horse racing simulation game. Um Personally, I was hoping it was going to be a bit more arcadey, uh, but it isn't. It's really sort of simulated based. You've got to pick your horses. It's very text heavy. It actually took me a while to actually get into the actual racing of the game. I had to scroll for a lot of text to finally get to the racing. And uh, it is very, very much a simulation. It's not arcadey in the slightest. Uh, but, you know, for 75p, I, I was willing to give it a go just to see what it was going to be like. So anyway, the following day I went to CEX and uh, I did see these games uh, the, the day before uh, but the prices uh, were not, I just didn't want to pay the prices they were initially going for. But then the following day they basically repriced all their stock. Uh, so these games were a lot cheaper so then they became, you know, I had to pick them up for sure because they're definitely, well one is definitely on my list and the other game I already own but uh, I wasn't going to let this one uh, par pass it up at this price. First game I picked up, and this was one that was on my list, it's one I've been trying to get for a while, uh, and that is, um, what was it called? Hunter the Reckoning, and uh, I got it for £1. 
So really happy with this. So here it's got quite a decent sort of uh, uh, co-op multiplayer on it. So looking forward to giving this one a try. And lastly, I picked up Samurai Showdown 5 uh, for £5. So yeah, really happy I'm getting this one. Um, I do have this already though, but uh, you know, at five quid, I'm not going to pass this up because this is quite an uncommon game. Um, but since I already have it in my collection, uh, this is actually up for trade. So uh, if anybody is interested, uh, just uh, give me a shout, guys. And finally, uh, while I was out and about, I went to my local uh, game shop and um, actually, I was actually looking for. Uh, some PSP games but I didn't find anything that I was interested in but they did have a couple of uh, loose uh, Game Boy Advance games and uh, two caught my eye one in particular but the first one I managed to pick up is the NES Classics uh, Pac-Man and I got this for three pounds so really happy with this one but this is the game this, this, I, I, this game is going to blow your mind guys I couldn't believe when I found this game there because this game is quite rare. Um, I actually already own this game. Uh, I've got I've got a fully boxed version of it, which uh, cost me fifty quid. Um, but I couldn't believe I found the loose cart of this game. And this is the um, European uh, release as well, which is a lot rarer than the uh, the American release. Uh, and that game is Mega Man and Base. And I got this for three quid. So really happy to find this. I could not believe it. Um, but like I, I do have this game, guys. So uh, again, this game is up for trade. So if you are interested in Mega Man and Base, uh, let me know. Okay. Next set of games here are... Um, Again, PS2 games, but these were bought on Amazon. Uh, the first one I got here, um, I just I couldn't resist the price when I saw it. And um, the game is 1945 One and Two. Uh, what this is, it's basically uh, two vertical shooters, really good ones as well. Um, I couldn't pass it up when I saw it on Amazon. Uh, it cost me uh, two pound fifty, so definitely, definitely had to get this. And again, this is another shooter. Uh, this is one I've wanted for a while, but um, just had other games that I wanted to get before it, so I just sort of put it to the side. Um, but you know, it was on my list to get. And the game is Homura. Um, it's brand new and sealed. And uh, I got this for twelve ninety nine, I believe. Um, so yeah, really, really happy to get this because um, it has been on my list for a while. But uh, like I said, I just sort of um, just neglected it just uh, over other games that I wanted first. But uh, yeah, finally glad to have this one. Next set of games here. Uh, again, these are all uh, PlayStation Two titles, uh, but all of these are eBay purchases. Um, decent selection here, so I'll, I'll just uh, go through uh, go through them. First one up, uh, this is one um, that I was actually uh, recommended to get by uh, Metal Jesus Rocks. Um, he would made a video of, um, I think it was like his top ten sort of uh, PS2 uh, hidden hidden gems, and this was one of the games that he listed, and that is. Micro Machines V4. Um, I'd actually never heard of this game before. I mean, I, I know of Micro Machines, obviously, but um, I didn't know there was a V4 in the PlayStation 2, and it did look really, really good. And I got it on eBay. It was, uh, I believe, it was two pound fifty. Um, it isn't really nice, Nick. Uh, the only thing is, though, it, the the uh, case is split down the side here. Don't know why it's like that, but it is actually in very, very good nick. Aside from that, so in any case, I'm happy. Still got to replace the case, but I'm happy with it. Next game I've got here, and this is one that uh, I've wanted for a while. It's a bit, again, it's one of those games that that n nobody bought at the time, but it sort of gained a bit of a cult following afterwards, and that is Beyond Good and Evil. Um, this was 99p, 
plus postage. Uh, another game here, this is a shooter again, and the game is, if I can pronounce this right, it's uh, Cyveria, or something like that. Yeah, again, this was uh, 99p plus postage. Next game here, this is one I've, that I've, I just saw footage of and I just had to have it. It looks like an amazingly good game. And uh, that is, again, it's one of those hard ones. Bujingai Swordmaster. Uh, this plays very much like a sort of Devil May Cry style of game. It's sort of like if you combine Devil May Cry with the martial arts styles of uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. It's got the sort of you sort of fly around the screen. Uh, it's it's really really good though. Um, I got this on eBay. This was this was actually quite pricey. It was uh, eleven quid. Um, again, same on Amazon. It went for about the same price as well. Um, but it is a really good game, and uh, so I definitely had to have it. Uh, the next game here, uh, this is another quality uh, uh, PS2 game, one of those uh, gems that not a lot of people bought at the time, but you know, it does have a bit of a cult following. And it's a really, really great platform game. And uh, that is Psychonauts. Um, I believe I got this for 8 quid. Um, really great game guys, I highly recommend you check this game out, it's, it's got a really sort of quirky humour to it, um, yeah, just a really nice game, so really happy with this one. And finally, um, I picked up a quite a, I'm not going to say rare, but it didn't get a UK release, and um, I think it was just a, a, a European market only. Um, it got a US release as well, and it's 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 quite a highly uh, sought after and uh, well praised game. And I got it's 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 brand new and sealed, and uh, that is Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. Now I was really chuffed to get this game uh, brand new and sealed because a used copy of this game can go anywhere from thirty to sixty quid. <laughs> You would not believe how much I paid for this game. I actually paid uh, 14 99 15 quid for a brand new and sealed copy of Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. Um, it, is, it is a European release. This is a Spanish copy. Um, but that's fine with me because I can read Spanish. Uh, it's my second language. So, uh, yeah. Really, really happy to get this because I've heard nothing but good things about this game. And I know it's quite a rare title and quite a sought-after title. So, very, very happy to get this one. Next game here. Next games are all uh, PlayStation 1 games. All games I picked up on eBay. Some quality titles here, guys. First up I've got is uh, Wild 9. Um, I believe this was from the people that made Earthworm Jim. Uh, a really great sort of 2.5D platform game. Uh, yeah, just very, very happy to get this. This was £4. Uh, it's a cracking game. So, yeah, happy to add this one to the collection. Next game here. Uh, this is one um, that I've wanted for a while. It was actually one of the first games I played on the PS1. Or should I say I played the demo of it. And I was quite I was quite worried when I bought this game because I, I I wasn't sure if if, if this game was going to live up to the memory because I thought maybe it might have dated really badly. I thought the controls might be really awful, but thankfully it wasn't. It's just as fun as I remember it to be, and it's quite a unique and quirky game as well. Uh, it was um, a PS1 launch title, and that game is uh, Jumping Flash. Really really fun game. Um, I'm glad to finally get this now because, yeah, it's it's definitely as good as I remember it to be. Uh, the the controls are are, are really good. Um, great sense of vertigo. You sort of play as a sort of an android robotic um, rabbit, and it's sort of from a first person view mode, and you go around shooting the crap out of all these uh, 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 creatures, and you can also jump to other platforms but when you jump you sort of look down so it gives you a great sense of vertigo because it's all in sort of the first person perspective 
Uh, really, really fun game. Um, I believe I got this for a fiver, probably a bit less. Can't quite remember now. But yeah, really happy to get this one. Uh, next one here, this is one that I've wanted again for a while. It's an action RPG, a real, real quality title here. And that is Vagrant Story. Had a go on this. I've had a go, I've had a go on this, and it's a lot of fun. Um, really great game. It's very swanky game from from SquareSoft. It's got all the trimmings on it. Um, good graphics for the time. Um, you know, it's, uh, the the gameplay is quite unique. The the action is quite unique. When you sort of um, attack attack one of the characters, a sort of like a, a sphere comes over the character at sort of grid based, and you can sort of pick which part of their body you want to attack. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, really, really happy to add this one because it is a quality title. And this is one of those games that has sort of gained a cult following. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this now because it was quite a while ago. Um, I believe it was... I think it was about 8 or £9, pounds, something like that. But yeah, really, really happy with this one. And lastly, for the PS1, I've got a top quality game here. Um, this is quite an obscure obscure PS1 game, quite sought after. Um, it's a Sunsoft game, uh, but it is actually available to download on the PlayStation Network. It's a 2D fighter, and uh, it's one I've wanted for a while, and that is Galaxy Fight. Really good uh, 2D fighting game. I believe this was, this was on the uh, Neo Geo, uh, and it's a lot of fun. Um, you can download this on the PlayStation Network or Xbox Live. I don't know if, it, if it's on Xbox Live, but it's definitely on the PlayStation Network. Great 2D fire from Sunsoft. So, yeah, really happy with this one. Um, and it was 11 quid. So, yeah, really happy with that. And finally, guys, um, this is a tile that I've wanted uh, for a very long time. Um, this is a game that I actually gave up on getting because the price for this game just got ridiculous and um, that's not to say I didn't spend a lot of money on this game because I did but uh, definitely not the, the, the current prices that tend to be going for this game on eBay uh, it's a Mega Drive title and uh, yeah it's, it's one that basically um, when I first sort of started picking up for the Mega Drive I had a list of sort of like three games that I wanted to add for sure. Two of them I got almost immediately, uh, and this one I I thought I wasn't going to get because it just it just got too expensive and um, yeah, just didn't. Th I just sort of decided not to get it anymore. But uh, I did keep an eye on it, and I did find it for a price that I was willing to pay for it. Uh, that game is Mega Man: The Wily Wars. Very very happy to get this game. Um, if I just show you, it is complete. Been after this for the best part of two years. Very, very happy to finally get this game in my collection. I couldn't believe it. It actually came on eBay um, literally like a day before I got paid. So it just came at the right time because it was an expensive game. But it wasn't near to what it, it, it people are trying to charge for this game um, I mean I've seen a copy of this game go for 500 quid which is retarded um, but the average price for this game seems to be around 250 to 300 pounds uh, I got this for and this is including postage uh, 216 yeah 216 pounds it is expensive uh, don't get me wrong but it came at the right time um, just before I got paid so I was able to just snap it up right away and it's in it's in it's in near mint condition. So really really happy with this. Um I think this is basically gonna be the last game that I'm picking up for the Mega Drive because I'm pretty much I'm pretty much done done with the Mega Drive uh now. Um so a nice one to end my uh Mega Drive collection on and uh, a nice game to end this pickup. Uh, video with uh, seeing as the last video of the year so that's it guys those are my those are my pickups uh, for these last few weeks um, I hope you did like this video guys
If you did, guys, please give it a thumbs up. And, uh, of course, I would like to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. And, uh, yeah, I will be back uh, with another video before the year is out, hopefully. But in terms of pickups videos, uh, this is going to be it now until the new year. Um, I think, as you can tell from some of those games, you know, I'm not, I'm not really going to be... Uh, Spending any more money anytime soon on games. It's too much. Too much other things now that that you know Christmas now is is coming up. So um, priorities. But anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I will speak to you guys again soon.